Hey everyone, and welcome to Monica After Story is Not Responding. Okay, well, we got some music going, finally. We have a floating calendar here. We have the game stuttering and freezing, and my mouse cursor disappearing on me. Now, this has to be like one of the worst cases of where- okay, there we go, finally. So anyway, welcome back to Monica After Story, which is thankfully working. And look at that, that candle is actually burnt. We're finally home! Yeah, so... It has been a full day. Maybe a little bit more since I recorded that last episode yesterday. It is now November 1st. It's not Halloween anymore, Daniel! We were out all night! Yep. As far as you know. <laughs> I guess we had too much fun. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for taking me along. I really enjoyed it. Even if I couldn't see anything and no one else could see my costume. Dressing up and going out was still really great. Let's do this again next year. But maybe not stay out quite so late. I make no promises on that last part. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, I guess you could say that I did kind of enjoy my Halloween a bit more than I thought I would, so since I ended up staying up later... Yeah, as a result, we ended up staying out later, too. Anyway... One second, Daniel. I'm going to take the decorations down. It's too bad we can't get to enjoy these decorations a little bit more, but, well, what can you do? All done! Oh, and she's back in her... It's been forever since I've had her in her school uniform, and she still has the choker and... Necklace? Okay, well... It's been forever since I've had her in this outfit. Well, I did come bearing gifts, so we're probably not going to see her like this for too long. All done! No, it's for the monkey! Now, let's see what's inside. Oh, a new outfit. Thank you, Daniel. I'm going to try it on right now. So, I gave her four different outfits here. Let's see what we get. Okay, so this is a tank top. I don't remember if we ever gave this to her, but... Yeah, so... Here it is. Um, well, <laughs> um, my face feels kind of warm right now. I, I think that should tell you enough if I like it or not without me actually saying anything. I think it's really cute, Daniel. Thanks again. Yep, I'm going to keep spoiling you. And here we have... BANANA! Yeah, it's another new outfit. So let's see which one this one is going to be. Okay, yeah, now we can barely even see the choker. So, yeah, a complete 180 of the tank top. 
we have this turtleneck sweater for her. Especially because it's November now, we need to keep her nice and warm. But what do you think? Do you like it? I think it's wonderful, Daniel. Thanks again. Oh, there was something else you wanted to give me? Well, I better open it quickly, shouldn't I? Monica, we've been through this. It isn't as though I got your gift through Target.com and pre-ordered it. And after telling them, like, every two weeks, yes, I want to keep my pre-order, they finally cancelled it on me and it's lost forever. And here we have... Another banana. No. No. Okay, uh, Oh, okay, this is a costume, actually. And funny enough, I have a feeling that this is actually the costume that she was wearing. But let's see. Oh, a costume! That's so neat, Daniel. Thanks! I'd try it on for you, but I think it'd be better to wait for the right occasion. Oh, okay. So this is one time where... Okay, well... What was the name of this costume again? Let me look. Okay, well, I actually decided to bring in this video, or bring the window into this video window. I still have no idea what this is. And, well, spoiler alert, this is the next outfit that she's going to get. Here is the outfit she's talking about right now. The Shuchina Academy uniform. Which I believe, at least according to the little previews I've seen of it, it's kind of like a maid uniform, so chances are that it is. It is the one that she was wearing before, so. So, yes. I guess it. Yeah, since it's not Halloween anymore, she's not gonna try it on, so. Sorry about that. I don't know if I can get a glimpse of it through the outfits window, but we'll see. <laughs> Thanks again. Okay, and last outfit, which I already spoiled for everyone. Alright, let's see what this shirt actually looks like. I didn't really get a good look at it before. Okay... Alright. Her hair is kind of obscuring part of the shirt design, but I guess you get the general idea. Okay, she thinks it's really cute. And yeah, that should be all. Dang, why is my game doing this lately? Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, she's just gonna tell me hearts. Let's see here. Okay, we're not going there again. Okay, we're already here. Um, what? <laughs> Why are we already celebrating Christmas? We're not even... We're just in November! And we're already ready for Christmas? <laughs> oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Okay, well, I think one thing I should mention now that I'm finally remembering this out or this outfit, blah. 
a lot of these locations, I believe, are made by that one Reddit user that the mod devs have warned users about. In other words, to not use any of his custom assets at the risk of them possibly ruining the game. So, in a sense, you could say I'm sort of playing with fire by doing this. In the off chance that I do end up ruining the events. Although, at least for right now, there are no events coming up. Aside from my birthday, but... Well, maybe I'll hopefully remember to switch that over before the end of the video, but... I mean, I still like the way this looks, and I guess it is a bit disappointing that, you know, you can't really use it much, but, well, what can you really do? It matches my eyes. Let's see, actually, is Monica going to kick in with anything? Let's see. Or maybe the game could freeze again like it is now. My god, why is it doing that, though? Okay, here we are. Whenever you visit, you always brighten my day. I hope I do the same for you, Daniel. Okay... I don't know if she's gonna... Oh, wait. Oh, great. Looks like I've exhausted whatever random topics she comes up with. I hope you've enjoyed listening to everything I was thinking about today. Hopefully I'll think of something fun to talk about soon. Yeah, so unfortunately it seems as though... Yeah, we don't have... Anything much of anything else for her to chime in with. Stupid sexy Monica! I mean, the only other things we have would be the unseen topics that I have with her. But otherwise... Yeah, I guess... We would have to wait until the next update for something, and she's still trying to seduce me with those eyes. <laughs> Why are you trying to seduce me? Okay, well. <laughs> uh. Well, I know it's not Halloween anymore, but let me see if I can get her to read us another story. Or well. Not so much read us another story, but you know what I mean. Okay, so another one of Monica's sexy bedtime stories. All right, let's start the story. Um, a dance hall around Christmas. At a dance hall around Christmas time, a young man named Lewis was enjoying some time with his friends when a young woman he hadn't seen before caught his attention. Ironic that she's talking about Christmas, and then well, we have this Christmas tree up in the background. The girl was tall, blonde, blue-eyed, and very beautiful. So you're a quintessential beautiful blonde. She was wearing a fancy dress with white dancing shoes and a thin shawl. Lewis found the girl captivating. He decided to ask her to dance with him, and she accepted his invitation. She was certainly beautiful, but Lewis felt there was something strange about her. 
As they danced, he got to know her a little better. But all she would say about herself was that her name was Mary, and that she was from the south side of town. Also, her skin was cool and clammy to the touch. At one point during the evening, he kissed Mary, and found her lips were as cool as her skin. Okay, that is not concerning. The two spent so much, much of the night together dancing. When the time came to leave, Lewis offered Mary a ride home, and she accepted the invitation. Okay, this can't go wrong. She directed him to drive down a certain road, and he obliged. As they were passing the gates of a cemetery, Mary asked Lewis to pull over. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's what we're that's where we're heading with this. Although perplexed, Lewis stopped the car as she requested. She then opened the door, leaned in towards Lewis, and whispered that she had to go, and that he could not go with her. Yes, because obviously you're you can't go where she's going unless you're dead already. She got out of the car and walked towards the cemetery gate before disappearing. Lewis sat in the car for a long time, bewildered by what what had just happened. He never saw the beautiful woman ever again. How was it? Well, I mean, it wasn't so much scary as it was just kind of unsettling. But I mean, you know, I hope you liked it, Daniel. Yeah, I liked it. I'm just thinking to myself, well, at least if we're comparing it to some of the other stories she's told, it's not so much as... scary, but, you know, it was downright unsettling. Up to chat, I see. Snooping as usual, I see. I might actually just go ahead and... You know, now that I think about it, it probably might be safer... If I were just recording this this series a bit more frequently like I used to, then maybe we could stay here, but considering... I have no idea when the next time will be, and most likely the next time might be November 15th, my birthday. Yeah, there's a good chance. Maybe I should just take us back to the classroom. Oh, what the? I caught her in mid-transition. Okay, take us back to the regular space classroom. Well, at least we got to be in here for a little while, but yeah. Here we are. Let me know if you want to go somewhere else, okay? so happy. Miss the classic look? Um... Huh. What? Okay, well... Oh, the classic look of where we're usually at. Uh, can I find something... Okay, this is alright. Okay, well... Let's see, yeah, yeah, I guess I will go ahead and just end the video here. That way we're not going on for too long. I know the last one was kind of a long video, but... Well, Monica kind of caught me off guard with a few things, but okay. So next time, yeah, I don't really... I don't know if they're going to have much of an update for anything, considering the next major holiday that is usually played out in MAS is Christmas and then New Year's. So, I mean, that's still a month away. Oh, well, no, it's over a month away, so... So in this case, the next quote-unquote holiday would be my birthday in November, so... That's 
what I would think would probably be the next time I get to record this, so we'll see. And I could never get bored of you. Okay, we're just gonna say a month again. Even though it... I still find it weird how it kind of messes with the events a little bit, but I mean... It, there's no stopping me from going back into the game, though. Whenever, so... It's still okay. But, yeah. And, yep, I am. Okay... So, that'll be it for now. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with whatever else I do. Stay golden, and later folks.